Hello beautiful friends, this is Erica with Conscious Alchemy 1111 and Crystal Rose Insights. Here to do a special reading for both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Now this is going to be a very specific segment of the collective, so this is not going to apply to everybody. However, whether you're in this particular segment or not, there still will likely be some good information in there. So whether you're either past the stage of a relationship or whether you are not quite here at this stage, this will still be helpful for you. It just might not resonate as much. So what I'm going to do today, I was called to do this video today for those of you who are on a twin flame journey or soulmate journey and whatever label you call it. Um, and this is for those of you who are in this place where perhaps you have been um, separated from your person for a while, or maybe you're talking a little bit, but you, you, know, you feel like things are going really well in yourself. You can sense things about to start to happen. You're getting a lot of guidance. You're getting a lot of telepathy or higher dimensional communication and you just feel really solid you know you're in this place where you're good um, so if you're a divine feminine that means you're in a place where you're working on your mission you're excited about your life yes you care about your masculine but you're not really that worried about what he's doing or not doing um, you're really in a place where you're trusting, you're in union with self, and you are taking care of you, and just feeling really in your feminine energy. So this is not for those of you that are still really frustrated at your Divine Masculine, or are confused about this journey, or you haven't done a lot of your own work. So this is not going to apply as much to you, but this is for those of you where it's like you're in this patient waiting mode, the impatience is gone, you know, the, the fear is pretty much gone. Um, you pretty, you have these signs that things are happening, but then they haven't happened. Um, or maybe they didn't, they're happening so slowly. And so that's who this particular reading is for. Um, and with that, uh, before I get started, a couple quick announcements. I am, um, if you haven't joined me over on Instagram, please do. I do uh, readings and posts there um, that I don't post here. Also, if you haven't seen the astrological sign readings, the love readings for 2019, for the themes for 2019, and then the, the guidance for early 2019, do go check those out. They're on my channel. Um, and if you'd like a private reading with me or um, an energy healing session, the information on how to order that is down below in the description box. Um, that will take you to my website and that will give you the information on how to book it and all of that. So, uh, and also I want to say a huge thank you to all of you guys that donate, that are here, that like, share, and subscribe. You really are incredible. Those of you that comment and share your stories, it really makes this place um, this, this channel a place of empowerment and positivity so I really appreciate each and every single one of you and those of you who are my clients I tell you you are blowing me away the progress you've made the work you're doing on yourselves you know the 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 magic that you're opening up to in your lives it's just such an honor to be able to be part of that with you so um, so with that, I'm going to get started. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at why is this union not manifesting yet in the 3D? Okay, so why has this union not manifested? It seems like it's right there. It seems like it's been there forever. Why isn't it actually landing? So we're going to take a look at that information. We're going to take a look at what's going on in the dynamic between the masculine and the feminine. What... Um, are the combined energies? What are they doing about the relationship? What are the outside forces impacting the relationship? What else might be going on? So we're going to get a sense of just what could be potentially going on that is impacting its manifestation in the 3D. Um, and when I say manifestation, I mean harmonious union. You are um, together in a relationship where you are both committed to being together to moving forward to to um, seeing where this really goes so that's what I mean by manifestation of the union 
So um, with that, what I'll also do is I'm going to get into the extended reading. So if this is sounding like it's resonating for you, in the extended reading we're going to get into even more, which is a lot of the unconscious things that are going on, how to move through them, what they've been working on, what are the priorities, what are some of the, what's the advice and guidance for how to move through these energies or how to shift through what is um, potentially energetically a priority prior to coming into union. So that's going to be in the extended reading, but for now we're going to take a look at what's going on here. And you know, you never know what spirit's going to bring. Um, you never know what they're going to, how they're going to bring it out. But um, let's see what they have to say. All right, I am just putting this here. Okay, perfect. So first I'm just going to get some cards. So with this, I've got this beautiful quartz cluster here. And I love this one because to me, this represents the twin flames and the third is the union energy. So it's the, um, the trilogy, the three energies. So that is this quartz that's here to support the reading here today. So let's get a, let's get a sense of what is going on here in the dynamic. So Let's see what segment, uh, like what they want to say about the people that, you know, that sounds like that's where you're at in your journey, where you're like, okay, you're kind of tapping your feet going, what, when is this going to happen? Or I feel like I've done a lot. There's been so much progress. I feel it like on the tip of, not on the tip of my tongue, but I feel like it's right here and it's imminent, but it hasn't hit yet. I thought that was going to happen two months ago. So this is for you guys. Whoa. <laughs> that's too many here, but the Knight of Cups wanted to show up here. So first we're getting the Knight of Cups, and I'm going to get two more cards. And I'm also not going to read reversals unless um, Spirit guides me to keep it reversed. Sometimes they do that, um, and I do read intuitively and not by the book. So let's see what else here. Here's the Empress. Well, here you go, and we're going to get one more card. So this is what's currently going on in this dynamic. Oh my god, that's so many cards. Um, I'm going to take them because they all came out. We're getting the Fool, the Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and the Four of Cups. All right. Well, here we've got the Knight of Cups ready to make his offer of love to his Divine Feminine, to the Empress. I mean, she's here. He's here. He's ready. He's looking towards her. He knows that he wants to do this, okay? So this is a scenario where there is an intention and there is a conscious, a conscious knowing of the wanting to make an approach to the Divine Feminine. So what's happening here? Is this feels like some of the backstory like this is sort of the okay right away this is what's happening in the dynamic all right the backstory here is we've got this fool card energy this leap of faith so th this feels like yeah this okay so this feels very much like the fool energy was further back so the fool was this energy of, I want to take this leap of faith. I want to move forward. I want to start a new chapter. I don't quite know how it's going to go, but I know I have to follow my guidance. I need to know I have to follow my soul. I know I need to follow the way that the universe is bringing this to me. There's some sort of a reason why this is happening. But then there is this eight of pentacles energy here, eight of pentacles followed by the nine of pentacles. So what I'm seeing here is this was then the next step for the divine masculine where they were like, okay, I'm ready to, I know I want to move forward. I know I want to move forward. But then they realized they had to get to work. Some of them were very hard at working on their careers, on their finances, getting themselves stable, um, stable financially, professionally, um, in their, in their physical world. So if they have left relationships, if they have, um, branched off into a new career, whatever it is, they've been hard at work here. But this also could symbolize learning some new skills, like knowing that, okay, to take this leap of faith, I got to get out of my comfort zone and I got to work hard and I got to figure out what else I need to know. But then they've progressed now to the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles is an energy of like, all right, I've worked hard. Now I've got what I want. I've accomplished this. I actually have got my stability. 
you know, here he's hard at work and here this lady is in this energy of like, I'm good. Look at me. I've created this. I'm abundant and I'm alone because the nine is an energy of solitude and they're fine. They're, they're, everything's good alone, but they're missing the one thing because what comes after the nine of pentacles is the 10 of pentacles, which is the family, the happiness, everything being aligned. So this is the progression here. So it feels like Divine Masculine has made this progression, but part of what's been going on is they've been cutting things out of their lives. They've been making decisions because they've been unhappy with certain things. They've felt like they've been missing this opportunity. So I'm getting this energy that it's, I'm getting this image where she's like cutting through like a swashbuckler through the wheat field. Like I'm going where I need to go and I got to get all this crap out of the way. Because I know there's an opportunity here. So this is the energy that the Divine Masculine is in. It's like I'm blazing the trail to get to my feminine. Okay, so this is the energy of what's happening in the dynamic right now. All right, well, there you go. So now let's see actually what each of... Um, what is happening in terms of what's happening? So this is the progression of the energies, what's going on in the dynamic. But let's see specifically, this, I'm going to use this deck for the Divine Masculine, and I'm going to use this deck for the Divine Feminine. So let's see how, um, what is going on, how, how is the Divine Masculine, um, it feels like they already gave this to us, but I'll just pull another card anyway to see what else they want to say about where the Masculine is at in this dynamic currently. Yeah, he's feeling more balanced. He's feeling more balanced because he's worked hard. He's worked hard in his physical world, um, also potentially in his spiritual and emotional world too. But he definitely feels like things are back in balance. He has something to give now. Before, he may have just been in a place where he was working so hard that he had no energy to give to anything, no energy to give to his feminine, no energy to give to the relationship. And now he's feeling like he actually has something here. He has something to give. So definitely a lot of pentacles energies for the Divine Masculine. Very hard at work. Stability, financial security, um, all of that stuff seems to be very much a factor here. And certainly also could be a factor for the Divine Feminine because a lot of the this could also apply here to the Divine Feminine where she's been working hard on herself. She's kind of taken this leap of faith also where she's been hard at work on her mission work maybe she's also been working to get herself steady financially and now she's reached this accomplishment too um she's reached this place of feeling really good and again the only thing missing is her partner so let's see um where, how she is currently relating to what's going or how where's where is she in this dynamic here and here's the Five of Cups. So interesting, she is still a little bit focused on the past. So even though she feels like she's ready, she still might be focused on the wrong thing here. The Divine Feminine may be too much focused on what went on, what didn't go on, what happened, the heart, past heartbreak, past things that didn't work out. She's actually focused in the wrong place. So this could be part of why the union hasn't quite manifested yet in the form that she would like because she, her attention is focused kind of in a bit of the wrong place here. So let's see what is going on here in terms of what are each of them doing regarding the relationship. Okay, so let's see what the Divine Masculine is doing specific to the relationship. Again, because they gave us all these cards, I feel like they've given us a lot of this already. But let's see what else they want to add to what the Masculine is currently doing regarding the relationship. Where is he? What is he doing to either make it happen or come into union? What is he currently doing? So we're getting the Moon card. He is looking at where, it's like he's seeing things he hasn't seen before. He's noticing things that perhaps he no, hasn't noticed about himself or has been hidden about himself. But it's also to me more feeling like he's really listening to his intuition. To me, this is about intuition today. Um, 
Oh gosh, I hope you guys cannot hear the rain. <laughs> it's been raining so much here. Um, and it gets so loud in here, so I apologize if you can hear that. But um, he's really connecting to his intuition. It's like he's 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 gone through this to this leap of faith because his intuition has been guiding him. He's got it's like the call of his soul. His heart has been leading the way, kind of dragging him along, and he's following it. And so he's he's because he's learned what that means, and he's already getting to this place where he wants to offer his love to his feminine. He's really connecting to his intuition in a new way. So let's see what the feminine is doing regarding the relationship. So where's the feminine? What is she doing specifically regarding the relationship? This is interesting. She's being very, she's very confident. So what I'm hearing is she's very confident and she's very, um, she's very powerful and she's very magnetic, but because she's so magnetic, she, she's got to be careful where she puts her attention. You know, you manifest, if you're not intentionally looking at where you want to go, you'll be manifesting by default. So if you're focused on the past or you're focused on the fears um, that come up and it doesn't feel like it's very heavy for her, but it does feel like she's in an energy of being pretty much of a badass manifester and she's feeling, she's very confident and she's, she's waiting here. She's sitting here, Queen of Wands is someone who draws her masculine to her. She can be a little bit intimidating. Sometimes the Divine Feminine is so intimidating that it's a little bit like, oh gosh, like I don't know if I can go near her. She's just so, her energy is so big. Her energy is big. So, so it does feel like she, she's, she's waiting here for him to come to her. So the Queen of Wands and the Empress here. She's like, okay, I'm here. I'm on my throne. Come and get me. All right, let's see what's going on with the outside influences that are impacting the relationship. What are the outside influences that are impacting the Divine Masculine first? What outside forces is he facing? Oh, this one wants to come out. Working together as a team. Getting some help. Wanting to be a team player. This could be work. He might be con he might be uh, confiding in a couple of people or one person or maybe even in counseling or some sort of a mentor. Um, trying to figure out how to make this happen because this is an energy of teamwork, working together, um, not going at it alone. And so it could be that there are people around him that he works with potentially that may um, be trying to either tell him what to do, trying to set him up with other people. Uh, we don't really know, obviously being a general reading, take what resonates for you. But um, he's being influenced by people around him, again, potentially that he works with or people that he trusts that are maybe their elders, family members, spiritual mentors, uh, people that they admire or respect. So they could be going to someone that they trust to really figure out how to navigate, how to approach the feminine. So let's see what's impacting the relationship on the outside for the feminine. What are the outside factors influencing the divine feminine? Nine of Cups. So wish fulfillment. Happiness. So what I'm feeling here It feels like there's a lot of people around the Divine Feminine who have witnessed her transformation, witnessed how she's taken charge of her life, witnessed the changes she's made, and um, 
they're seeing this, they're see, they're observing this, and they may be acknowledging her for this. They may be acknowledging how far she's come and saying like, cheers to you for, for sticking it out. This is really interesting because I'm I'm just getting drawn to how this one person is holding up this cup to this couple that are together and it's like cheers guys and so I'm just getting the feeling that it could be that there are some people around divine feminine or maybe one person even who is like you go girl because I don't know how you did it or I don't know how you got this far I don't know how you've been so patient so that definitely could be going on in the outside factor, what is influencing. And then let's see just in general what other outside forces are impacting the union. Judgment. Yeah, this is... Um, This is like the I'm getting the the I'm getting um they're giving me the the message reboot reboot I'm rebooting my life so there's a bit of a reboot energy and I'm getting the image where like you know your computer's been on forever maybe you have a lot of tabs open stuff's been going on you've been closing some stuff out but then there's other stuff still left but it's like you've kind of done everything but the system resources are down. And so the computer's operating a little funky, and it's just like, okay, reboot. I'm going to reboot. Um, and once it's rebooted, it's aligned with where you're going next. It's gotten rid of the old stuff. It's clearing out the things that um, you've already completed, you've done. You don't need that tab open anymore. You took care of that email three days ago, like whatever it is. So it does feel like there's a... Um, a purification energy happening in the union right now the outside force of purification I see this as divine energy and not necessarily um, uh, outside forces although there for some of you this could be that other people are looking at you like in some sort of form of judgment of what you're doing or not doing all right um, you should be doing this or why are you doing that and they're kind of sitting there looking, but at the end of the day, it's up to what, it feels like the both the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine are in this trailblazing energy. Um, in terms of like, you know what, that works for you, but I'm going my own path, and I don't care if you think I'm crazy or I'm nuts, I'm gonna do this, and I don't care whether you agree with me or not. So there's definitely a few other um, factors here. Let me get a, another card on the judgment. I'm going to get a clarifier. Yeah, it's for the emperor. Structure. Leadership. This feels like the universe's energy supporting and influencing what's happening. It feels like the universe is aligning. The universe is aligning for this thing to come together because we're getting both the Empress and the Emperor. So the Knight of Cups is the Divine Masculine in the physical plane. He's the Knight, okay? The Emperor is the Divine Masculine in the higher dimensions, as is the Empress. And the reason that the universe is conspiring to have them come together now is because it's time. It's time to get done with the old and align with what your purpose is here. So those of you that are in this stage know that the divine is supporting you energetically more than you know. All right, well, let's see what else is going on here. What else is going on that could be impacting whether union is manifesting now or not? Because this is really positive what's happening here in the middle. But let's see what else might be going on for Divine Masculine. So he could, it feels like he definitely, so the Ten of Wands is an energy of um, shouldering the bird, like bearing a lot of responsibility, being overwhelmed, being overworked. You know, and it's no surprise, he's been hard at work here, 
but it feels a lot like he's also potentially very overwhelmed with approaching his feminine but he's ready to drop these wands and, and, and bring out the ace of wands he's ready he's like I don't need all these anymore I just need my one so this is what I was getting with the reboot energy it's like there's all the work he's done, all those tabs that were open on the on the computer. It's like, let me drop those, close them out, and reboot and start fresh. <laughs> I have never given that analogy ever in my life. It's funny how they, they bring me these random images. I'm like, really? A computer? You're giving me that? And they're like, uh-huh. Just convey the message, please. <laughs> so I did. Um, but anyhow, I hope that that analogy supported you guys. So let's see what else might be going on with the Divine Feminine. What else is potentially impacting union not manifesting? Oh, this one wants to jump. Oh, here's the Ace of Wands. Oh my God, guys, this is happening in all my readings. All my readings, it's like real time back and forth between the masculine and the feminine. All right. Ten of Wands, and here she is with this Ace of Wands. She's ready. And look, he's even looking over at this guy. This king, I think he's a king, is looking over at him going, come over here. I got the Ace. I know you're looking for it. And I have the world in the palm of my hand. So come join me. It's much nicer over here than it is here. <laughs> oh, wow. I swear. You guys, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know what I'm talking about. You've seen this in action multiple times here lately, especially in the extended readings. When I do the back and forth messages, it's really crazy and fun. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now, I'm going to give one card of guidance here. I'm going to leave. Okay, here's one message to, um, what's your guidance for those people that are watching this about manifesting union? Revealing radiance. My light illuminates the world. Illuminates the world. This is about you guys shining your light and being in your power completely. Shedding all the old stuff getting rid of the things that don't serve you, getting rid of your burdens, all of that. It's about revealing your radiance, revealing your light to the world. That is what happens when um, two souls that are complete in and of themselves, in union of self, come together, is you're revealing your radiance. What comes out of an oyster once the sand has been in there? It's the pearl. It's the gritty sand, the difficult times, the painful times that lead to this beautiful pearl. Oh, I love that message. Well, guys, if this has been resonating, here's what I'm going to go do next. I'm going to get into what each of these people have already healed, what the masculine has already healed, what they, um, the feminine has healed, what each of them has worked on that maybe the other one doesn't know about. But what we're going to do is we're going to actually get into the unconscious. And I don't want to say blocks, but people, I'm going to say it just because that's what people relate to, but I don't like that word. So what are the blocks to union? A lot of them are in the unconscious. Okay, because we keep manifesting things in our lives and situations in our lives that are meant to clear past patterning, past energetic imprints, often from childhood, sometimes from past lives. So the, the key is to really bringing in this wholeness and to, and to manifest something new on the external is to shift the energy internally. So how do we shift the unconscious? So in the next, in the extended reading, I'm going to go into what is in the unconscious for the masculine that he needs to work through. What is the in the unconscious of the feminine that's in this situation? What are the priorities? And I like to call them priorities because to me it's more the universe just has a priority. Before you can manifest union, the first priority is to do this. So it's not necessarily like a block. To me, I like to think of it as a priority. The universe is prioritizing you clearing this before then you can have this. Um, it's just the way I like to look at it because blocks can imply a lot of things that aren't necessarily accurate. Um, so, and then we're going to get into guidance. Okay. So once we see what the unconscious energies are that are in the priority for both of these and for the union, then we're going to get into the guidance for each, the divine masculine and the divine feminine, what to do with it. And 
how to move through that. So if that sounds interesting to you and if you feel like this has been resonating for where you're at, then do meet me over in the extended reading. The link will be down below. It's going to be um, uh, on my website. It's no longer on Vimeo. I'm not using that platform anymore. So I, I hope to see you guys there. If I don't see you here, I hope this has been helpful. And I hope that this gives you some understanding of your situation. And if you're not quite in this energy yet, just know that this is, you know, at some point you may be. So no matter when you're watching this, whenever you find this, if the messages are resonating, that's how this is for you. So I wish you so much luck and love. And um, for some of you guys, I'll be seeing you over on the extended reading. If not, I'll talk to you guys next time. Much love always. Bye.